Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, and here we are with another tutorial on Jenkins. In the previous tutorial we have seen Jenkins master slave concept and how to set up Jenkins slave on Windows machine. If you have not seen my previous video please check that on my channel and follow this tutorial. If you go to manage Jenkins and manage nodes, you will be able to see the Windows slave which we have added as a service. In this video we are going to see how we can set up a Linux machine as Jenkins slave. The steps include connecting the machines using SSH by creating SSH keys. Follow along. If you have not subscribed to my channel kindly please do so and like the video. Let's create a new node under Manage Nodes give a name and select permanent agent. Enter the description, give the remote directory in which you want the workspace and other Jenkins files will be stored. I will be using the label to control the jobs which are sent to this Jenkins, so select the option jobs matching with the labels. And we are going to use SSH launch method. We will be going through the step by step process to create SSH key and connect the Linux slave machine with Jenkins master machine. The first step is to enable password authentication in sshd config file in both the machines. If the settings is already enabled, you can ignore this step. I am using the root user in both master and slave machine. If you want to ssh using different user, create a new user in both master and slave machine. Now let's create a SSH public key using SSH keygen and we'll copy the same to slave machine. All the commands used are listed in video description. You can press enter when it is asking for file location to save and also twice when asking for passphrase. No need to enter anything so it will save the file to default location.
Now copy the SSH key to the slave machine using the command SSH copy ID. You can test the SSH connection once the file copy is completed. Now go back to the Linux slave node and edit the details. You need to give the host name and give the root user and password to make the SSH connection. To launch the slave agent you need to have Java on the slave machine, if it is not installed, run yum install Java to install the Java and run the slave agent. Great! Now the Linux slave is configured and connected with the Jenkins master. You can create new Jenkins job and make use of the Linux slave to run the job.
we have completed the setup of Linux Slave. I hope this tutorial is informative for you. We have completed the Slave configuration in both Windows and Linux. You can configure the Jenkins in the distributed structure. Thank you for watching, kindly subscribe to my channel and give your comments.